All right, let's look at number one. It's the only one problem, two parts. Okay, based on yesterday, we took graphs and made tables and then wrote expressions. So that's what we're going to do. It's fun. fun. Yeah, it's really fun. What? Like, she makes learning fun with it. If x is 1, y is 125. If x is 2, y is 250. Like, she always lets you work with, like, your friends and stuff. And she, like, looks, lets you work on the computers. Okay, if I'm repeatedly adding 125 each time, what am I actually doing? I don't like school usually, but I like her, so I like her class. 125 times x, that's it. How many days are in two weeks? 14. 14. Right. She helps you with everything when you don't know how to do it, and then, I don't know, you just, she just makes us feel comfortable. Two. It was pretty fun to use the computers and we got to do the work and it was pretty fun. Okay, yeah. I'm going to collect it. I really want my kids to um, really believe in themselves. A lot of my kids come in struggling with math. They don't think they can do it. I want them to leave believing that they can do it. I want them to um, believe in themselves. I want them money. to have, especially in eighth We're grade, to have the skills that, that they need next year for algebra, that they can pass algebra one, which they have to pass now with state mandates. So that's kind of my goal, is that they get the confidence, the math skills that they need so that they can carry it on through high school. Well, I've always had problems in math, but I had misgivings last year for, I had for her for another class that helped me understand math more, and that's one of my favorite math teachers in this school. That's a nine, right? All right, we're done. All right, what's that? Is that 49? Yeah. Um, you're lucky to have her, and she's always like, she's there for you, and she's like one of my favorite teachers. We have that. All right, who's doing Kylie? Josh. Yeah. All right. It's easier to learn with her because she's a fun teacher, and she helps you with everything. And then when we don't know how to use the touch screens at first, she helped us and she showed us, and then we got the hang of it. Wait, how is five times seven forty-two? Okay, now answer questions one through five, one, five, and seven on your blue paper. There is, and I think sometimes they're really with the touch screens, they get really involved and engaged in what they're doing, and then they start to realize that oh yeah, I am finding the common difference between numbers, but then I'm writing it down with my finger on a touch screen, so it's kind of like a game to them, but yet they're still learning it, and it's really exciting. Shouldn't we go by fives and since it would take forever to go from 42? Well, everybody talks in the future, it's pretty much all going to be technology. And right now, we're getting kind of used to it. So if we ever do have a job, we're pretty much used to computers. And it's a fun way because we're always hands, we'll use your hands-on class. Okay, now, turn the page. Well, I've kind of always been good with math, so I kind of like going to math class. Copy that graph onto here. Free algebra, I didn't think I, it was going to be that easy, but she's a pretty nice teacher and it makes you fun. Makes learning yeah, fun. Ninety dollars. I do, and it's a challenge. And some years are easier than other years. A lot of it's the kids. A lot of it's what you're teaching. And it's um, this is my first year with a classroom of tomorrow. So the technology is an, an added um, challenge to me. Is how to incorporate it, how to use it, how to get the kids involved, and yet still get the point across that they need to get involved in. And it's not just playing. We have five, six, and seven. Yeah, she like she makes the math fun. Like you used to hate math, and like coming to her class. It's fun now, and I look forward to it. Um, yeah, because I'm a hands-on student, and so um, having the chance to actually sit there and write it out on a computer and everything is actually easier to do. I did that. No, I didn't. Yeah, it was really exciting. I mean, because it's your peers that um, give it to you, and to have them recognize the job that you do, and to um, ac give you some accolades and a pat on the back. It's it's a great feeling. Graphing. We're sorry. Well, there's one more. You can graph Mariah. She's coming on. Join the staff later.